Hey guys, it's Reese and it's about that time again. Back to school season. I don't know what it is. I've just always loved back to school season, especially all the shopping that comes with it. School supplies, dorm stuff, clothes. I just always get really excited when this time comes around. And then when I go into school, I'm like, why was I so excited? But anyway, back to school season always comes earlier and earlier each year. There's already school supplies in Target and I can't believe it. So I decided that let's get this party started early and make some back to school videos. So if you didn't already know, I'm going to be a sophomore in college. My freshman year just passed and I learned some things so I'm definitely gonna be sharing in the next couple of videos. But today we're gonna to be discussing what to bring and what not to bring to college. Packing for college is like extremely overwhelming because you're most likely moving out of a multiple person house into living completely by yourself. I mean, of course you might have a roommate or something, but you're essentially now an independent person and need everything for yourself. All those common household items that you just use randomly throughout the day, you now have to get for yourself and you might overlook them. So I'm here to hopefully make it easier for you and tell you what essentials that you do need to bring and also give you a list of things that you probably are not going to need. So if you guys are excited for the back to school videos to start, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment below any videos that you would like to see. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos from me. All right, let's get this video started. So there's definitely some obvious things that you're gonna need. So first, when it comes to like your bed and your bedroom, you're going to need some sheets, comforter, pillows, a mattress cover, so something that's going to protect your mattress because you know multiple people have slept on it and you don't want any of their germs or whatever going on you. You're definitely going to want some comfy blankets because you never know how cold or hot it's going to be in the room. A lot of times you don't have control of the AC. And I think the most important part for your bedroom is a mattress topper. Now the mattresses that they give you is basically just a pile of cardboard that you're going to sleep on. So invest in a nice mattress topper so that you can sleep comfortably, not wake up with back pain because I bought kind of like an okay one and like halfway through the year my whole body was like indented in it and I would just roll to the middle of this hole in my bed so I'm definitely going to invest in a better mattress topper so that you can sleep better. Most rooms come with a desk obviously because you're a student and you need to study so you're going to want a desk lamp either a bulletin board or a whiteboard just for fun or to also write down important things pin up pictures, memories, important notices or whatever. Definitely gonna want to put a little trash can underneath your desk for all those papers that you crumple up and cry over. Some sort of calendar and like pencil holder, organizer type of things. And then of course, all the school supplies that are gonna go into the desk. Next for the bathroom, this really depends whether or not you have a bathroom in your dorm. You might have to have a communal bathroom where you're not gonna need some of like the decorative items, but if you do have one attached, some of these are needed. First thing you're gonna need is a shower curtain and the shower rings because the shower curtain they provide is probably gonna be pretty gross. You need a bath mat to go either underneath the sink or next to the shower. Definitely towels and washcloths. I definitely recommend bringing quite a few towels because you're probably not gonna to wanna to do laundry that often, so you always wanna make sure that you have a clean towel. You're gonna to want a shower caddy, especially if you have a communal bathroom. This way you can put all your shampoos, your body washes, and everything in just a little caddy and bring it to the bathroom with you all nice and organized. Some hand soap and the other like just bathroom essentials whether that be like your makeup or your other soaps and whatnot and then once again another little trash can and trash bags to put in your bathroom because you're always kind of throwing out makeup wipes and whatnot probably the most essential thing that you're gonna need for your dorm is storage because you're bringing a bunch of stuff into one tiny little room so you're gonna need some nice storage options that are not only going to obviously store everything but look nice and keep things organized and kind of hide all the stuff that you brought most important is under bed storage now most of the beds are risen so that you have like a couple feet underneath the bed this is where most of your storage is going to be they're probably going to provide you with a set of drawers or like a little dresser or something but you always want to bring more storage because if you're like me you're going to have a lot of clothes and you want to make sure you can fit them all you're going to want some bathroom storage to put all of your beauty supplies and soaps and razors and q-tips and you end up bringing a lot of bathroom stuff and over the door rack is really useful for your jackets or your towels or just anything that you might not be able to fit into your closet. You're going to want to bring a lot of hangers. What I did was I put all my clothes on their hangers already and just kind of wrapped it in a trash bag so this way I didn't have to unhang and rehang everything. Just a little tip, a little tip I'm giving you. You're going to need a bunch of command strips. Now unfortunately command strips are extremely overpriced probably because the fact that they're so essential but you're going to need them if you're going to want to hang anything, if you're going to want to put anything on the walls because schools are usually kind of strict about making marks on the walls or whatever so definitely invest in some command strips. You can get a coupon or something. Gonna want a 
hamper. I recommend getting a hamper that kind of turns into a laundry bag. This way you can just kind of carry it to wherever your laundry room is. A shoe rack and a jewelry holder if you find that you need them. Next are kind of appliances and electronics. This really just depends on what your room already offers or what they allow. Some places don't allow you to bring like your own microwave or something like that. Some of them already give them to you. So just check out what your school allows and see if you can bring any of these. Definitely going to want a fan or heater because like I mentioned, you never know what the temperature is going to be like and you probably won't be able to control it. So sometimes in the winter it might get super cold. So you might want a heater or a lot of blankets. And in the summer it might get super hot because you're kind of in a cinder block room. So you're definitely going to want a fan. If your room already doesn't have one, definitely bring a mini fridge, especially if you're like me and a foodie and you always need snacks on hand. A microwave for all those times that you're studying late and you need to heat up your leftovers from the dining hall. I think definitely an essential for kind of any room is a water filter. So something like a Brita filter because you don't want to waste a bunch of water bottles. Yes, they're convenient, but if you want to try to be a little environmentally friendly, definitely get like a Brita, fill it up with a sink, have your water filtered and just fill up a water bottle that you can reuse. Coffee filter, toaster, a mini vacuum, and definitely a bunch of extension cords because nothing's worse than having like two outlets and like a million different electronics. All right, so for the extra things that you might not think about because you know they're kind of just common household items, I couldn't really fit these specifically in the group, so I'm just gonna list a bunch of random things. Laundry detergent, dryer sheets, cleaning supplies, air fresheners, kind of just all of like the cleaning essentials, especially since now you're gonna be doing your own laundry. I mean, I hope you've been doing your own laundry, but you want to invest in some good like laundry detergent. It's nice and it clothes smell clean and fresh. You're definitely going to want to get some silverware for your room, even if it's just like two forks and two spoons. It's just like two of each because nothing's worse than like getting food and not having a fork to eat it. And you're also going to want some food storage, so like little Tupperware, so this way you can sneak food out of the dining halls. And just like chip clips and like bins and stuff to put all your snacks in. I definitely recommend bringing like a nice travel bag, like a duffel bag or something. This is for when you go home during the breaks or you go and visit a friend or something, just so that you have something to bring a lot of stuff in. That's, that's the point of a duffel bag. Umbrella, rain boots, and a raincoat because depending on where you live, you never know when it's just gonna downpour. And I forgot to bring a raincoat with me and I got caught in so many like thunderstorms walking to class and just soaked through my non-waterproof jacket. It's it's not fun. Definitely gonna wanna bring whatever medicine or painkillers that you might need, like Advil, Tums, if you take daily medication, you wanna bring that. Now, I feel like everything I've listed so far is kind of the essentials. Now, every single item I've listed, you don't need depending on what your dorm already has or just your personal preferences. But yeah, those are kind of like the basics, the staples. Now when it comes to like the fun stuff, you're definitely gonna wanna bring some form of entertainment, whether that be books, board games, art supplies, if you have like a game console, just something to keep you not going crazy. And of course, obvious things, you wanna bring like your daily makeup, your bathroom supplies, your medicines, your clothes, like those are obvious things that you use on a daily basis you're gonna bring to college with you. And then when it comes to school supplies, it really just depends on your classes and what you're gonna need. I don't recommend getting school supplies until you actually get all the syllabi from your classes because most of the time, you might not even need like binders and stuff like that unless it's your personal preference to handwrite things I've honestly used my laptop as my main school supply so I definitely recommend having a good standing laptop that's gonna be sturdy enough to hold up to all your work all right finally what not to bring to college the first thing you definitely want to do is meet up with your roommate get to know them and kind of have a conversation discussing what you guys can bring and kind of share so if you both decide that you like coffee make sure that you communicate so you don't both bring a coffee maker just talk to your roommate and see things that if it's like bigger appliances or things that multiple people can use you don't bring duplicates of them you definitely don't need to bring all your clothes I promise you're gonna have enough clothes just bring a whatever you need kind of for that season so when you're first moving in kind of bring like your summer a little bit of summer transition into fall and then when you go home for the breaks you can bring home your clothes and switch them out for your winter clothes it might sound a little sad but you don't need to bring all of your memorabilia and your decorations because it might get a little cluttered and it might add a lot of excess weight to your packing that you don't need. Of course you're moving away from home and you want to bring all those memories and pictures and maybe like your trophies and your awards and stuff because it's going to remind you of home. But just pick and choose the few that really mean something to you and make those really special instead of bringing everything. I knew someone that literally looked like she brought her entire house with her 
and all the stuff just sat on a shelf the entire year and she didn't touch it or notice it. So it might sound a little sad, but just bring a few special items and avoid packing everything. Next thing you don't want to bring is kind of like semi-hobbies, I'm going to call them. Things that you might like to do every once in a while. So say every once in a while you like to like paint or whatever. If you're not going to do it kind of on a weekly basis, then don't bring all of your art supplies and all of your painting supplies because it's just going to add excess weight and take up a bunch of storage and if you're only going to touch it once or twice, it's not really worth it. A common thing that a lot of people feel like they need but they're never going to use is an ironing board. I highly doubt you're ever going to iron clothes and if you do need to iron something for some special event or whatever, there's no doubt going to be someone else near you that has an ironing board because for some reason we all feel like we need one, but when have you actually ever ironed anything? Surprisingly, you're probably not going to need that TV. Sometimes dorms have a TV in them, but a lot of the times I know people who brought like, you know, their mini like flat screen or whatever and turned it on like once. Because by the time that you get in college, you're not either going to have time to watch TV or you're just going to watch like Netflix or something. So if you can watch stuff on your laptop, I definitely recommend doing that instead of bringing an entire TV with you. Alright, I think that just about covers it. If you think I've missed anything important, definitely leave it in the comments below to help some people out. But I think I covered the basics. If you guys like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe before you leave. It would make me very happy. And otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are.